Hey everybody, it's Ashley, Carolina Trailer Sales, carolinatrailersales.com. We're located in Pine Hall, North Carolina. We are by appointment only, and you can reach me best by texting 828-773-4500. So this is a 2017 Murhau 8309 6 Cube, and I'll explain what all that means model-wise, because this model um, you don't see very often. We did it uh, quite often back in the uh, 2016, 17, 18 years. Um, but we have it in a long time. So it is an eight wide, nine foot short wall, three horse. It has a large fridge. So that's where the six cube comes at the end of that model number. So a cool, couple cool things about this trailer is it's a perfect size. I know I say that all the time, but this one is a perfect size because it's a 23 foot box at eight, that's 31 nose to tail. So. That being said, you can get in and out of places very easily. This trailer is eight wide, so you get the extra space and the storage. So I'm just gonna kinda go around and point out a couple of things. This trailer was sold here new for a customer. She stayed right back into a Murhout. She actually um, got a bigger layout. Only reason um, is she wanted a little bit more space and um, was ready to upgrade. It happens. So. Sliders on the rear. This has got the load light package where you've got load lights all the way around with switches. So I'm on the wrong side for what I normally do. So I'm gonna actually kind of like go, go around to the other side and then I'll come back to this side. That was a sunny side, so I started there. All right, you'll notice that it has stickers on it that say Aluma Star. It's irrelevant. Um, it is a next generation. We did not have stampedes back during 2017. Um, we did have stickers on all the trailers that said Aluma Star, but they really don't dictate anything um, different about the models. So just disregard that as it being anything of importance. Um, this is an 8309 six cube next generation. So it's an all real wood interior, pewter in color. A little harder to see on this side with the sun, but um, basically it's got the drop down windows with bars escape door got the flip up step at this escape door that you can go in and out i'm going backwards from what i normally do i don't know what's happening here hydraulic jack two propane tanks two batteries it's got a stainless nose don't really remember anything on this side of the trailer that i needed to point out as far as cosmetics or any kind of dings So this has the 24 inch manger. So they're deeper than what we currently do, which is 18 inches standard. Back then 24s were standard. You can't upgrade to 24s, but at this point they're just 18s. However, this trailer, not to confuse the subject, this trailer is the 24 inch manger. So it gives you extra room in there for storage. She's actually got a hook in there for her, um, hanging her cords and things. It's just hard for me to open those doors and show you that video in. Now, the back of this trailer has the collapsible rear tack, it does have the two bumpers. It does have brush box saddle um, stand does come out that is collapsible rear tack. So she has actually had worm flooring put in this trailer. I don't know a ton about it, but this trailer does have worm. It was just installed. So the trailer does have worm flooring. Fully lined and insulated, airflow dividers, padded dividers. It does have the LED lights. It does have roof vents. Kind of show you those bigger mangers. Um, empty weight of this trailer is 8580, 8580. So empty weight, 8580. All right, a couple of things in the horse box that I'm gonna point out. Nothing major whatsoever. However, in the middle stall, the stall that was hauled the most, there is some dents. That's from a kicker, clearly. Um, it's 100% it's cosmetic. It does not hurt the trailer. It has not caused any issues. But in full disclosure, I just wanted to point out that would be what I would probably show as the damage in this trailer. 
minimal. Cosmetic damage is what I would call it. Um, padding's good. Everything else is good. But just wanted to point out that there's some divots kind of in the wall. I mean, it's, it's flush. There's no issues. Um, but just wanted to point that out. A little bit of uh, places here where I guess they kicked even higher. Um, good news is, is everything is intact. There's no issues other than uh, the cosmetic damage there on the wall. All right, the only thing I'll point out on this side is there's a little bit of discoloration here. It's really hard to see uh, in the sun. Actually, maybe you can see that. Um, basically, it was just where something was uh, cleaned and it just kind of took a little bit of the pigment pigmentation of the color off. It's no issue, cosmetic 100%. I've seen way worse. Um, this one doesn't have any scratches or any deep, deep things like that or any fenders messed up or anything like that. But you know, when you're standing here, you do notice a little bit of discoloring there beside the hot water heater. So I always like to point everything out. Um, my trailers get shipped all over the country sight unseen. So I try really hard to hone in on anything that would stand out to me and everything would stand out to me. If you haven't watched my videos much, um, overly critical. Okay. So I've tried to kind of show you that other than that, the two things in the horse box and this, that's it. The trailer's immaculate. It was very well taken care of. Um, as I said, oh, let me show you one cool thing. Keypad. Keypad lock was put on this trailer so you can actually put in a code or use a key. So that's new um, added to this trailer, which is kind of neat. I think I have to be at one of those for me. Really pretty interior. Um, this wood pretty sure it was called ebony so it's a darker wood it's really pretty it's very classy looking um cabinets all the way around the nose in this trailer so every one of those cabinets that you see a pool is storage with that being said you've got two hanging closets on either side of the bed that go deep you can hang shirts in there um, or put blankets. I use mine as blankets, um, extra pillows and things like that. They work great. Spinning on around, this trailer does have a TV and that, that TV has a swing arm and does swing out. It is ducted AC. So you've got a ducted AC, a propane furnace. Rear kitchen, it does have the flip up solid surface um, countertops. So this has got the solid surface countertops, microwave, two burner gas top stove, small stainless sink. This is the big fridge. This is where that big fridge comes in. Um, big fridge cabinets all across the top there. There's drawers below. So, I mean, this unit has a lot of storage, um, in my opinion, for a small nine foot LQ. It's got a lot of um, great things about it. That's actually storage there underneath with the drawers. She's put some nice decor in here. Um, some hooks and things like that, um, which we left. We thought it, it looked really nice. A place to hang your keys. Soft touch walls. Obviously big fridge and storage below and storage above. So again, a lot of storage in this unit. Turning around, I'm gonna head to the bathroom. It's got a sink and vanity corner shower. This is actually a towel rack here. You hang towels on it. And there is a cabinet behind the toilet. It is a solid door, pocket solid door. I'm gonna kind of go back so you can kind of see the, the wood. It's really pretty. No damage whatsoever in the interior of this trailer. It's an immaculate shape. All right. Oh, almost forgot. There's a coat closet here. All right, so 2017 Merhal 8309, proper name, six cube. 
trailer is a great one. All right, guys, Carolina Trailer Sales, carolinatrailersales.com. I greatly appreciate you all watching my YouTube. Any feedback is greatly appreciated. Y'all have a great day.